Well, that's my surprise face. What's going on, coaches? Day 30, overcoming obstacles. First, I want to say congratulations. I'm really excited that you made it this far in your Coach Basics training. Um, you guys are really, really awesome. You participate every single day. You post in the group. You, you motivate each other, and I like that. I see a lot of teamwork here. I see a lot of leadership, um, and it's amazing. That makes me happy. I get excited for things like this. Um, I'm really, really excited to send you guys off um, and, and help you go into your next phase, your next 30 days of training, um, if you welcome the challenge, uh, which I hope you do, and I know you will. And I would love to see you guys grow and grow alongside with you and work together as a team and make this just the best experience possible, right? So, so in month two, uh, we're going to focus a little bit on hitting Success Club 5 and rank advancing to Emerald um, and, and the easiest and best ways to do that. So um, that being said, I want you guys to make a little bit of a little video about what you thought of the first 30 days of Coach Basics training. Um, just like some ideas and some, some generalized um, opinions of, of the training and what you think helps and didn't help or works and didn't work, anything that can be done a little bit differently. I welcome um, advice all the time from other coaches tips and ways to make things better and streamline because I'm constantly changing this, right? So I made all of these videos and I might not even use them ever again next month. Or uh, My plan was to make something that I can continue to use going forward, work smart, not hard, but I'm constantly changing and improving methods that I might not even use it for too long. So um, uh, I, I love to hear from other people what works, what doesn't work. So I love to make you have you make a video and post it to the uh, coach basics training group wall um, about your why has your why changed at all in the past 30 days uh, with anything that you've learned and the things that you've experienced and gone through and the people that you've talked to um, has anything been different um, and any any wins you know share some wins with us uh, if you've had any wins in terms of battling objections things like that um, I mean, I get objections all the time. I'm going to give you an example, right? So I sent out 30-something invites yesterday, right? Um, actually, it was the day before. Sorry about that. It was the day before. So I came up with this new system that I'm trying where instead of sending 10 a day or 5 a day, I'm just sending like a bulk all in one shot, maybe twice a week, like on a Monday and then again like on a Friday and then I wouldn't do it again until like the Tuesday of the week after. So I'm sending out like bulk invites, right, like 30 one-on-one -on -one, straight message to people in Facebook um, saying like, hey, you know, my wife and I were starting this new challenge. It's going to be themed like this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, would you like to hear more about it, right? So first, I don't even get a lot of responses back, right? So I, I, I understand that these people read it because Facebook tells you, right? So a lot of them don't even respond. So I'll give it like two or three days and then I'll say like, hey, you know, haven't heard back from you. Um, I don't want to be a pest, this, this, and that. Um, I'm just going to cut off enrollment to my next challenge, but I'll keep you posted in the future about upcoming challenges and stuff like that. So it kind of creates that sense of urgency where if they were interested and just didn't respond, now they're like shut out, right? So they have to wait until the next time I message them for next month's challenge. Um, but then I do get a lot of responses back as well. And, you know, a lot of them go into no's after a couple of times and after wasting hours of talking to people right so i'm i'm getting on the phone more just to like save myself that drama of of wasting time messaging somebody back and forth and being non-productive in other areas um just to get a no at the end but i'm going to tell you that for every like 30 people that i speak to right i'll be lucky if i get one or two to actually join my challenge group but that's fine that's totally okay you know why because i enjoy doing it you know, I have fun talking to people and finding out what's going on in their lives and seeing if I can help them in any way and maybe giving them some advice um, or giving them some words to comfort them so that, you know, until the next time we speak, um, they'll remember that, right? So, so that's how I view things. Um, so make sure that uh, you use the objection script that's in your online office um, and, and really know that as you go along in this process, something will click one day and you will learn. Um, that the more time you spend getting to know someone and their problems, right, before you offer them a, a, a package of some sort, the chances are that you'll get a more, a better response right back. So um, make your videos. I can't wait to hear, hear, hear and see what you have to say 
congratulations on making it this far again, and I'm really excited um, for the next phase. So, so I'd like to actually connect with both of you, if possible, um, and on a video chat, you know, a Google Hangout or a Zoom call, uh, if we can, maybe sometime this weekend, um, and let's get that done. So I can't wait to see your videos, see your responses. Uh, stay tuned for information on the next phase of the training, um, and thanks for watching.